what's really going on Aries we're going to be doing your October 2022 tarot reading just general collective see what's going on for you we're going to be doing the Nightmare Before Christmas deck one of my personal faves and uh, tis the spooky season am I right or am I right so anywho thanks for popping on by the first card you have is the tower pretty crazy first card um so I actually kind of like the tower Things need to be shaken up sometimes. Sometimes stagnant energy needs to be shaken up. Um, but also like sudden realization, you know, sudden sudden movement kind of energy. Not necessarily bad. Interesting. Okay, five of cups in the reverse. Uh, coming out of a sadness, maybe realize realizing something. Also, this could be a depression card. Um realizing something that kind of like helps you like pick yourself back up which is great okay yeah absolutely three of swords in the reverse uh this is great uh healing a heartbreak maybe you found something out where it kind of like lessens the pain a bit now i kind of want i'm going to clarify the tower card there darling see exactly what this moment was Okay, the lovers. It was about it was about lovers, maybe jamming out there, darling. Uh, and the nine of candles. Hmm. So this is something that you're very, very guarded towards, but this is also something that you fought a lot for. So I'm gonna hmm, I'm gonna keep going. Empress, feminine energy, the death card. Okay, going through a transformation. Yeah, so this, I feel it kind of stirred the pot for you to now have this new kind of beginning. Now, uh, I forget where this was, but I heard this death is only a door, which is true. It's just a new beginning. Let's see. five of candles although this could or, or this what happens sometimes it could arise some conflict with the people around you or inner conflict but i feel like this could be people around you uh you're going some through some sort of transformation and um let's keep going Okay, we have the six of candles in reverse. Reverse. Um, okay, not seeing something as victorious. Uh, not be, not celebrating something. Keep going. Hmm. one please here we go okay ten of candles ten of wands in reverse uh dropping a burden from something you okay there may have been you may have fought with this person uh now again it could be it could be multiple people it couldn't doesn't have to be a loved one even though we do have the lovers okay could just be someone you're close to um but it's too much of a burden and it's not successful and it's you have at this point you have to weigh the pros and cons and you know drop that this reminds me i i just did a reading for libra so if you have libra in your chart or um you know if this resonates go check out those other videos darling interesting wow we do have two tens next to each other so uh the ten of candles you're dropping it and you're cutting it out like this is like definite interestingly enough we have i read 333 so diagonally i have the tower the death card and the ten of swords so i don't know if i said it in this reading but the death card or this is like the absolute death card to me uh because this one is like more so transformation this death uh so you go through the transformation first and have all these realizations right i feel like it comes in waves more so and 
this is the last card where you finally are able to cut it off. You see kind of like the backstabbing behavior or, you know, anything of that sort that you would feel that is, you know, of that nature to do overall. Oh, I love it. The chariot. That's what's up. You are going on to new beginnings. This is also like uh, victorious. You are like in the original tarot. It's like uh, like the emperors and the empresses and the gods and goddesses, whatever. Go uh, are the ones that are on those big chariots, right? Um, confidence. For some reason, I got val valor. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> gonna be honest comment below if you do um but anyways this is successful it's like a yes card success when you do this it, you're gonna have success i usually do advice and then uh outcome if you take the advice but to, honestly this one to me interestingly enough so bottom of the deck is the world you know you have options once you drop what needs to be dropped which you know, I think you're already healing from it. I think these are the beginning stages of healing and then waves of realization coming through. And then the ultimate cutoff, love. Um, <laughs> I just heard Chopped. Because I, first of all, I love Chopped, the um, cooking series show. But listen, who's Chopped? They're Chopped, okay? Um, <laughs> who's on the chopping blocker that's funny um anyways so success is coming you have many options um but uh be gentle with yourself going through discernment uh and these different waves of realizations um and uh, take time to make this okay because time isn't real darling and you know, just be kind to yourself because it's tough. Anyways, fabulous reading. I hope this resonated. If it does, definitely let me know. I would love to hear it in the comments below, darlings. All right, deuces.